Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge ship with me video. I have about 50 items, maybe just over 50 items to ship out today. Most all of these pieces sold extremely quickly. If they didn't, I will comment on them sitting for a while, but for the most part, everything sold very quickly. Um, and I always really like to kind of report back from my thrift hauls to show you guys what is selling fast for me, what's flying out the door, what's hot, what's trending. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So our first sale is a cardigan from the brand Lauren by Ralph Lauren. It's a size 1X and it's this drape front 100% cashmere piece. So it has these super long lapels that you can kind of drape over the shoulder if you want. You can drape just one lapel or uh, you could do like a double drape. And I found this piece at my local Family Thrift Center outlet store on Thursday. So I paid $2 for it every Thursday. Everything in the store is $2. And I was ecstatic to find this because it has so many sellable factors to it. It's plus size, one X, it's 100% cashmere, and it is by a reputable brand being Ralph Lauren. So I listed this for $75, I would say about a month ago. So this one did sit just a little bit, which was fine. I received an offer of 45 I did go ahead and accept that, which made my earnings $36, which my earnings are just what I make after Poshmark takes their 20% cut out. So my earnings were 36 and my net profit was $34. So very happy with that. So I just wrap it up in my duck duck brand packing paper. Um, I have links to all my supplies down below and then I just add a heart shaped thank you sticker. I order those from Amazon and then I put it into my box and all of these boxes and priority mail envelopes that you will see me package the items in. I order these free from the USPS.com. They're delivered straight to my door. I will have a link to all my favorite boxes down below as well. Okay, moving on, we have a two-piece bundle. Both are tops from Logo by Lori Goldstein, which is a brand I love to sell. It's sold on QVC, uh, size large and up in this brand, does especially well for me. These are both size 3X, this one and the next top. And when they have a fun print like these do, or fun accents, like this has a really pretty lace trim to it. This one, the last one was a shark bite hem. This one has like an ombre effect. So when I found these again, I was super excited because they really kind of fit the bill for exactly the exact characteristics that sell best for me from this brand. If it was like a plain, green size extra small button down shirt from Logo by Lori Goldstein. I probably would leave it behind just because uh, that's kind of the opposite type of factors that sell best for me. So I don't pick up everything from the brand, but if the price is right and the style and size are good. I will for sure grab it. So, uh, when the when the two items were added together the bundle price added up to $64. Someone sent me a $50 offer which I did counter to 55 because I had only listed them like an hour before I got the offer so I did feel comfortable countering. That was accepted making my earnings $44 and my net profit $40. So super fast sale here. We love that. I always 
or I usually counter if I'm very confident in the item and also um, if you know it was very recently listed um, I do I do counter okay next up we have this whoops dropped a hanger we have this boho cardigan here and this had absolutely or it has like a partial name brand at the tag or the neck but it was cut out mostly so I didn't even know what the brand was but I got this based on style and material so cardigans are one of my best selling categories this is also long line just a longer length which makes it more substantial it has this all over kind of boho pointel knit to it that is a keyword point tail knit and to top it all off it is a wool blend so that kind of elevates the quality if this were 100% acrylic and it was like kind of scratchy I would have left it behind just because that doesn't really hit my uh, quality standards but I did decide to get it and I got this again from my family thrift center outlet so it was two dollars I listed it at 35 and my posture VA sent someone out a $31 offer which is counted shipping which they did accept oh sorry they received the offer the $31 offer with discounted shipping and they actually countered that to 27 which I thought that was fair I did go ahead and accept that I've had this listed I'd say a couple weeks now so I was ready to move it out my earnings came out to $21.60 and my net profit was right around $20 so for a purely style based pickup well and material I'm super happy with a net return or net profit of $20. That's really what I aim for. And with my list price, you know, I listed it at 35. That was basically just a shot in the dark. Um, I just looked at the cardigan and said, what do I think someone would be willing to pay for this based on similar items in the past? If it were not a long line cardigan, I probably would have listed it at closer to 30-ish, maybe 28 to 30-ish. Okay, next up we have these two pairs of shorts that sold in a bundle. I listed them. These were one listing. They're just both from Target. I grabbed them because they were the exact same size, style, and material. They have a ruffle bottom hem, and they are a linen blend, size, both size large. So I thought these would be just a nice like summer short for someone if you're going on vacation you have put the fun print on top if you're going on vacation you know you have a couple of really nice pairs of shorts here so i listed these for 25 i got an offer of 18 which i did counter to 22 and that was countered again to 20 which i accepted that these were really just kind of like you know i'm at i'm at the bins shopping anyways so i will just throw these into my cart they seem like something that someone would like and want and find useful so you know i wasn't expecting a huge amount of profit on these i just um, i like adding in these smaller sales when i'm at the bins to help supplement my sales so my net profit on these came out to $14. Alrighty, moving on. Oh, this was really fun. I loved this set. It's from Ann Taylor and it's a two piece set. So you have the little cap sleeve top, t-shirt kind of top and the button down cardigan. So I did model this set just to show how cute and trendy it is. It's very like 90s Y2K-esque. And with this animal print and also it being 100% merino wool, very soft and luxurious, I could not leave this behind. I knew it would sell pretty well. 
I listed this at $58 just because it is so high quality and Y2K stuff has been so trendy, so hot right now. So I listed at 58 and I would say about one month after being listed, I got a $40 offer, which I accepted. My earnings were 32 and my net profit was $28. So super happy with that. I think we will soon get into the stuff that sold super fast. I mean, this, you know, one month to sell, that's that's pretty quick, but I'm talking like same day sales. So those are coming soon. Okay, next we have just a t-shirt. This is from We The Free by Free People. It's like a reptile snake print t-shirt i actually own this t-shirt myself you guys would have seen it in a recent haul video i have it in the blue color so naturally when i found it at the outlet i had to get it um i listed it at 28 dollars. it probably retailed for about 58 ish i would guess my posher va sent out a $25 offer with discounted shipping, which was accepted, making my earnings $18.28 and my net profit $17.28. I was definitely tempted to keep this just because it is so cute. You guys know me. I love my neutrals. Um, especially when they have, it's like a neutral color, but it has some kind of like fun print or design or graphic to it. And so, yeah, but I do have a lot of t-shirts, so I went ahead and listed it next. Okay. This was a top. This was a piece that sold like an hour after being listed for full price. So this is MG size large. It has an asymmetrical hem. It's a striped print and it does have some floral embroidery accents at the shoulder and bottom hem. This was so cute. This was another bins grab, something I just kind of threw in my cart. I know that it's not a super substantial piece, but I just figured someone would still like it. And it sold for full price of $28. Like within the hour of being listed. So I was so excited about that. My net profit on this top came out to $21.40. I really do like picking up UMG and Altered State and a lot of kind of mid-tier boutique brands because they really do help to supplement my sales. I get a lot of bundles with them. Um, and if I'm lucky, very fast full price sales. <clears throat> okay, this is actually another piece that I was at the bins and I saw it and I was kind of on the fence about it just because it is the older tag from Cabby, but it was just so precious that I could not leave it behind. It's actually a reversible dress. So there's a black and white floral print on the interior and then you just uh, would switch the belt over to the other side. And so that was the reason I did decide to get it because I was like, okay, this is reversible. You basically have two dresses in one and it was a, a little bit of a longer length. So this was also a full price sale. Again, within the hour of being listed, it sold for $35.00. And my net profit was around $26. So again, ecstatic about this. Um, I do shy away from the older tag cabbie just because uh, the items tend to sit. But for something like this, where the style was definitely there, the style kind of overrides the brand on this piece. Like I would have picked this up if it were no brand. Tahari which Tahari does have a high retail price. It doesn't always translate into a high resale price as with a lot of brands, 
but if it's a nice substantial piece like this I will totally get it this is a cream cardigan it's a size extra large very soft and comfortable cozy and it does have um, like really pretty silver jewel buttons like button closures on the front so I thought that was really like chic and feminine and with it being a size extra large I had to get it so I listed this at 28 and I would say same day I got an offer of 23 which I accepted my earnings were $18.40 and my net profit was around $16. This did have a small spot on the front, which I didn't notice at the bins. And so I did accept the $23 offer. Um, if it didn't have a spot, I probably would have countered to $25 or maybe I would have listed closer to $32 and expected more like $25 to $28-ish for it. But with the small mark on front, I did go ahead and sell it for 23, which you know I'm so happy with. Next, we have a very tried and true style item that has always sold extremely fast for me. Not for a high dollar amount, but very fast and consistently. So this is a Topshop denim overall dress or jumper. Anything in a denim jumper dress kind of cut like this flies out of my closet this sold same day the vintage dresses uh, if you can find like bill blast calvin klein even like old navy or like older like even target and walmart brands like no boundaries those will sell quickly as well if it's in the same kind of cut and style so I listed this at 28. I got an offer of 23. Again, same day. And my earnings were 18.40. Net profit came out to $16.40. Next up, we have this pair of Tom's slingback leather heeled clogs or booties. So these are a size 10 and they sold within like a day or two of being listed. I listed them at $40. A lot of Tom's shoes don't retail for a lot, but these were a genuine leather upper and they were really nice. So yeah, listed at 40. I got an offer of 25. You know, I'm going to have to, I'm going to switch to my 1095 box. It's just a little bit wider for shoes see so yeah, i got an offer of 25 which i did counter to 32 and that was accepted my earnings were 25 dollars and 60 cents and my net profit was 23 dollars and 60 cents so again i was pretty confident about these because tom's is a super popular brand a lot of people search for it only wear toms it's tried and true um, i had just listed them and they were great materials and great condition okay next up a two item bundle first off is this really pretty dress from the brand love stitch which is like a boutique brand it has a slit in front and a drawstring waist and then a tie in back. It has this really nice like textured gold dot design with tie dye size large. So yeah, I picked this up at the bins and I was super excited about it. It was one of my favorite finds of the day. And second and last item in this bundle is this Lululemon sweater. It's reversible. I want to say it's called like the Chai Time sweater. I know that it's reversible because it has the little metal Lululemon logo on both sides of the sweater. 
so when both of these items were put into a bundle, the bundle price was $66 and I received an offer on it for 40, which I did counter to 45. Again, these were listed like 24 hours before I got the offer. Uh, so yeah, I counted to 45 and that was accepted. My earnings were 36 and my net profit was 33. The Lululemon sweater did have some pilling under the arms. I sweater shaped it before I am shipping it out today. Um, so it's really, it really doesn't have pilling anymore, but still a little bit of wash wear. So I did list it just a bit lower than I would have. Okay, next, a three-piece first item. This is actually Old Navy, which, you know, is just like a, you know, not very expensive kind of mall brand piece. But again, kind of with the cabbie dress, the style overrode the brand on this. It's athleisure, it's a sweatshirt, it's cozy, comfy loungewear and it's tie-dye, which tie-dye is huge for me. Second item is this Anthropology Graphic Crew Neck Sweatshirt. It's from their Back When line, so I think it's like a retro kind of thing because the graphic is retro, <laughs> um, and it just says, bring joy. So I had to pick this up. I will wrap the last sweater separately. Okay, so we have these. And then lastly for this bundle is this Elon, E-L-A-N sweater. I thought this was so adorable. So it has this like oversized chunky cable knit design through the body. And then the trims are, it's like a contrast trim in a sweatshirt material. So I don't know, something about this I just thought was I really liked it. It's it's like athleisure and slouchy, but still put together. You could wear this like off shoulder. So cute. So when bundled together, the bundle price for these three was $85. And someone offered me $75, which I did accept making my earnings $60, got paid. $10 for everything and so my net profit was $50. Again, I'm going to use my $10.95 box. Alrighty. Uh, okay, throw that there. Next is Brandy Melville. This is the Jada dress, which is a very popular cut arguably the most popular cut of dress made by Brandy Melville. It's like this tiered bodice and then an open back. If you're not familiar with it, just Google Brandy Melville Jada dress. And if you can buy it, like if you see it out in the wild when you're sourcing this style of dress, um, I would recommend picking it up if your cost of goods are like $2 or less because it sells very quickly. It's always sold very quickly for me and consistently. So it's kind of a no brainer if your cost of goods are low to pick up Jade addresses in my opinion. So I listed this at 32, which is a little bit higher than I typically price my Brandy Melville stuff. And that was mainly because I couldn't find this black and brown tie-dye colorway available online anywhere. So I think it's like more of a rare print. Um, so yeah, listed at 32. I got an offer like next day for 24, which I countered to 28. That was accepted. My earnings were $22.40 and my net profit was about $20 on this. A really pretty cardigan from Anthropology. This is Moth sub-brand and this is called the French Knot cardigan because it has a lot of little French knots all over, colorful French knots. 
so cute and this was also a cashmere blend to top it all off so i had to get this cardigans are really like my best selling category um, if i'm ever on the fence about sourcing something and it's in a cardigan cut i kind of add that characteristics uh to the pro side of my pro con list because cardigans just sell great so i listed this at 40 and within a couple days of being listed i would say within two yeah two or three days I got a $35 offer, which I did accept that. And my net profit came out to $26. So that's pretty good for an anthropology piece. Anthropology resale value is not what it used to be. Next up, just a bra from Victoria's Secret. It is new with partial tag. It definitely still has a tag on it. I don't think it was like the main hang tag that they had. Um, you guys know I love sourcing bras, especially from the bins, because this is so light. I probably paid maybe like 25 cents for it. But they're still really expensive retail. So I listed it at 34 Someone liked the bra, like physically pressed the like button on the listing. And that is my Posher VA's cue to send them a 10% off offer with discount shipping. So that offer was $28 with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $20.68 and my net profit about $20. So happy with this. I hope the buyer enjoys it. And it's really a win-win because Victoria's Secret bras are very expensive. So, okay, next I'm going to use a large box for this sale. This is a three item bundle. First off is this John and Jen two-tone faux fur jacket. I've had this for a while now. I'm happy to see it go. I ordered this from ThreadUp's online outlet, I would say maybe about a year ago. It's really cute. I'm not sure why it hasn't sold, uh, but now it has. So, um, and this box that I'm using is box number seven from USPS. It, it fits my biggest bundles. Next item is this Zara ruffle dress. It's a little mini dress with a fold over ruffle at the shoulders. It has pockets. It's 100% lyocell, so it's that kind of soft, drapey, like chambray fabric. And lastly is this Bill Blass 90s vintage button down denim dress. How cute is this? I love this. I was so happy when I found this. Like I was mentioning earlier with the denim dresses, anything denim dress in a cut like this always flies out of my closet. This was listed for maybe like a day or two. So I usually just add in my bundle items to this box and then I will put a piece of paper on top then I will add my thank you sticker on top of that so it's nice when the buyer opens it for this the bundle price came out to $79 and I got an offer for $65 which I did accept that making my earnings $52 and my net profit around $42 right was that? Yeah, that was right. That didn't sound right for some reason. But yeah, earnings 52 and net profit 42. Moving on. Scoot up a little bit. A two-piece bundle here. First off is this Free People tunic top type item with dramatic side slits and a double V v in front and back i did model this just because i wasn't able to find 
a stock photo for it and it was kind of hard to show on the hanger and I'm a firm believer that something will sell faster if you're able able to really show your buyer how it will fit and how it looks on so that's our first item and then second is more Brandy Melville this is a true wrap dress with a floral print super cute I think this was just like one size and so when these two were added together the bundle price came out to 67 I believe I sent her an offer of 45 which she accepted making my earnings 36 and my net profit $32 another bundle yes three items first off is this pair of Zara plaid pants these are so cute so they're a see a fuzz high rise wide leg plaid pants so cute they zip on the side there's a lot of keywords for these like academia collegiate plaid uh, preppy just a lot boho anything really oh what am i doing okay next item more plaid this is a it's like a suspender jumper dress super cute it has a little mini skirt and then you have the suspender straps where you can wear just like a white top under or really anything on top i'll wrap the second one or the third item last separately i'm losing it over here i need my second cup of coffee last item is this crop top this is dead stock vintage which just means that it's a vintage item this is from like the 90s but it does still have the tags on it so it was never worn um and i just got this from the bins i thought it was so cute with the mixed floral prints and um, it looked like it originally had buttons on it, like it was a cardigan, but someone just took them off. Um, so I did note that, obviously. I did also model this item to show how it fits. So when the three of these were added together, the bundle price was $81, and I got an offer for $70, which I thought was super fair. I did accept that. Um, oh, I cannot get my labels out of order today. Okay, so yeah, I did accept the $70 offer, making my earnings $56. And I paid five for everything, so my net profit was $51 on this bundle. Next up, yet another bundle. These are two items. I think I might, let me see, I might need to put this in a larger box. First off is this H&M Super Bold Houndstooth Sweater. This had a lot going for it, not only this really cool graphic print, but also it's a size extra large and a wool blend. So all signs pointed to yes on this. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this into a larger box, my box number seven. Second and last item is this really nice Harley Davidson t-shirt it has an all-over kind of like bleach effect tie-dye look to it it's it's like a I don't know if this was an at-home like bleach job or what but I love the graphics on this love the style it's oversized and just a really cool piece so these two items the buyer bundled and I offered her $45 which she did accept, making my earnings 36 and my net profit $33. All right, add our label here. Next 
is a blouse. This is a button-down blouse from Anthropology. The sub-brand is Pilcro and the Letterpress, and th this is their newest Pilcro tag. I didn't even recognize it when I found it. I just picked it up based on style, and then I flipped this brand tag over, and I saw it said Anthropology, and I was like, oh yeah, duh, Pilcro and the Letterpress. So, um, yeah, it's long line. It's like a neutral check print, really soft and comfy. And this was actually a full price sale, which was awesome. It sold for $35, making my earnings 28. I think this was only listed for maybe about a month. So my net profit was $26. And this was a size extra small. I think, you know, the fact that it was a longer length, a neutral, pattern and just really wearable. I think those were all reasons that helped it sell. Okay, next a, another three-piece bundle here. First off is this vintage 90s Banana Republic dress. I definitely don't pick up all Banana Republic, but this was a kind of like mossy green colored corduroy button down midi dress. So I could not leave this behind. This kind of cut and style of dresses sells fantastically for me. This this only took well, maybe like three weeks to sell. I'll wrap the next two together. So yeah, kind of like I was mentioning with the vintage jumper dresses, um, anything like this as well, corduroy, button down, and also midi length, M-I-D-I. That is a very trendy length of dress currently. Okay, second item is Madewell, yet again, midi length. This is a linen blend v-neck dre dress with some side slits. I was very happy to find this for $2 because um, it's from spring of 2021, if I'm not mistaken. It was either, it was made sometime last year. So definitely a newer item um, and it being a linen blend, midi length is great. Last piece is Mod Cloth, which is another brand that I do really like to sell. It has a following, people are looking for it um, and a lot of their pieces are really unique and you know there's not a lot of other brands that make stuff similar to mod cloth so very unique kind of stuff and it always sells great for me i would say within the mod cloth brand their plus size kind of pinup stuff does the best there's a brand by them I'm not sure if it's by Mod Cloth, but they do carry it. It's called Retrolicious, which you guys should for sure keep an eye out for. They make a lot of really cool prints and patterns, and that brand sells amazing. So when added together, the bundle price for these three pieces came out to $87.00 and I got an offer for 78, which I did accept, making my earnings $62.40, and my net profit $57.40. I paid about $5 for everything. Okay, next, a pair of pants. These are by Zara, and they are a leopard print. I just grabbed these from the bins because leopard print is a classic print, sells very fast. Uh, they were a high rise skinny jean. How cute would these be with just like a black or brown turtleneck or even a cream turtleneck tucked in? Um, or you could go a more fun route and pair them with a graphic t-shirt. So I had these listed at $34. I would say they've been listed for maybe about three weeks now. Someone liked the listing and my Posher VA sent them a $28 offer with discounted shipping, which they accepted. 
making my earnings $20.68 and my net profit right around $19. So now we have a five item bundle. Grab my box number seven. Our first piece is this tie dye maxi dress. It's a pink maxi dress, really pretty. This was purely a style and size based pickup. It's a size extra large, has a little keyhole opening in back with a tassel detail and the waist tie was still attached, which we love to see. I thought this would be fun for, you know, upcoming vacations, a cruise. So I did grab that from the bins. Second item also from the bins is this midi dress. And the brand is Chaps, which I never really get, but this was a linen blend, size large, and it's a midi length. Once again, waist, waist tie was still there. So I thought it was pretty substantial. I will get pretty much anything that is linen blend in good condition in a cute style. Third item is this New Tags Angie Boho Printed Romper with a really cute little bell sleeve. It's like a high-waisted uh, cut. Very boho. How cute would this be uh, at like a festival? Okay, fourth item is Chico's tiger print button down blouse it has a hidden button um, the brand tag was missing and the size tag but i just looked at the inner care tag and i saw that it said chico's i also just measured armpit to armpit and used their size chart to determine the size and very last item, this is so adorable. This is just boutique. It's called Olivacious, size large. And again, we have that bell sleeve. It's like a patchwork floral printed dress. So boho and fun. So for these five items, I sent the buyer a $112 offer with discounted shipping, which she did accept making my earnings $86.92 and my net profit $79. I paid about $8 for everything. So it is actually quite a bit later now. It is 7.30. My camera shut off earlier because my card was full. So I just took that opportunity to load up all the packages I had and went down to the post office. I had a snack and now I am refueled and ready to finish out our sales for today. So jumping back in, our next sale is this rag and bone button down blouse. It has a really nice cut with this wide boxy bodice that's really popular with like the minimalist look. So for a top like this, I would add keywords like minimalist, contemporary, modern boxy and that does seem to help it a little bit so i listed this at 35 dollars and i would say maybe like three weeks after being listed i received a 31 dollar offer which i thought was super fair i did accept that making my earnings 24 dollars and 80 cents and my net profit $22.80. I do like to source rag and bone. The more substantial pieces seem to sell a little bit better. Anything leather, their boots uh, sell really well. Jackets, stuff like that. But this top sold great. So I was happy with this for sure. Next up, we have a pair of Chico's pants. I've definitely been sourcing Chico's a lot more just because mature 
brand and style of clothing has been flying out of my closet. These were also new with tags. So they were a no brainer. They're a hundred percent linen wide leg pant. So going into spring and summertime, I thought these would be a great item to have listed. People love their wide leg linen pants. And then when you combine the fact that they are new with tags from a reputable brand Chico's, that's definitely a no brainer with a cost of $2. I probably would have paid up to $5 for these, maybe even seven at like my regular Goodwill, just because I would be 100% confident that they would sell. So I listed them at 40. I took an offer of 30 just because I wanted to move them quickly, but I think I could have held out for like 35 to 38 ish or possibly even a full price sale but i did go ahead and accept 30 just to get them moving my earnings were 24 and my net profit was 22. i'm definitely a seller that likes to move items quickly um, i like them in the door out the door and then reinvesting that into more items to flip Next, a band t-shirt. This is Nirvana. It's like a multicolored graphic t-shirt. These are definitely my bread and butter solid sellers. Band tees sell so well for me, especially if it's a pretty popular band like Nirvana. So I had I listed this at $28 and I got an offer on it I want to say for like 18 18 ish but I was away from my phone so I didn't see the offer and someone went in and purchased it full price so Poshmark has a new feature now where if you have liked you physically hit the like button on a listing and then someone makes an offer on that listing at any point in time Poshmark will send you a notification that says, hey, we saw you liked this listing and it has an active offer on it. So if you want it, then you should go buy it basically. So I'm thinking that someone got that notification and just went in, purchased it at full price. Uh, so that just kind of canceled out that $18 offer. So it did sell for 28, making my earnings $22.40 and my net profit $20.40. So I was so happy about that. I love when that happens for sure. Moving on, another Chico's piece. This is so pretty. I got this from the bins. It's a little bit heavier, so I probably paid maybe like three to five dollars for it. But it's like this tapestry material jacket with beautiful beaded accents and velvet trim it's fully lined the size tag had been cut out but i did measure it and just consult their size chart um, i think i usually add the size chart into the listing just so that buyers can reference it it's easier to reference and so yeah this was i picked this up at the bins i would say maybe like four-ish months ago so it has sat for a little bit but that's okay I knew it would sell eventually just because it is so pretty I listed this at $40 and I got an offer for $35 which I accepted my earnings were $28 and so my net profit was like $23 to $25-ish I would say which I'm for sure happy about. I am definitely planning to continue picking up Chico's, J. Jill, Soft Surroundings, Eileen Fisher, all of those brands with a little bit of a more mature audience because they do sell really well. And honestly, I really like a lot of their pieces, maybe just because I'm getting older now. Moving on, this, oh, pair of shoes <laughs> we have this pair of lucky brand 
plaits. These are super cute. They have like a raffia or straw kind of upper to them. They're a size eight, I think. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I think it's something around an eight. Um, I've had these listed for maybe like three or four months now. I had them listed at 22. My Posture VA sent out an offer on them for $18 with discounted shipping. That was accepted. So my earnings were $12.68 and my net profit was $10.68. So not the greatest sale, but $10 is $10. I think sandals are going to start selling better and better as the weather warms up. I didn't have them in a uh, shipping video, but I just sold a pair of sandals that I have been so excited to sell. They were, I'll put the name, the brand name of them on the screen. It's like Anne de Mulemeester. <laughs> I could be saying that wrong, but they were like suede gladiator sandals, so pretty, and they sold for $168. I think they retailed for about $800, so I was very happy that those sold the other day. Next is a brand that I have been experimenting with. It's Nick and Zoe. It does have a pretty high retail price, so this is new with tags and it retailed for $148. There are so many sellable features to this. It has this amazing hand printed kind of graphic print to it. It's a contemporary cut with this like asymmetric hem. It's a linen blend, size extra large, and it's new with tags. So this was really a great find. Uh, I listed it at $58, which I thought was, you know, pretty reasonable for it being new with tags and a really nice piece. Someone liked the listing and my Posher VA sent them out a $52 offer with discounted shipping, which they accepted, making my earnings $39.88 and my net profit $37.88. So, so happy with this. This sale definitely made my day. I was having a really slow sales day and then this came in and I was really excited. So, that's always really nice when you're having a, a slow sales day and then just, you know, and you're thinking about it and then all of a sudden something sells and it's like, okay, well, <laughs> Thank you for that. A little top here. I just grabbed this from the bins because I thought it was cute and it was super lightweight. It's just a boutique brand, Easel Los Angeles, but it was a size large and it has a lot going for it. It has like a bat wing sleeve. It's super boho. I knew I could add word keywords like cottagecore, prairie, boho. Um, so yeah, really pretty kind of mixed floral print in a neutral color scheme. So I listed this at 25 and again, my Posture VA sent, sent someone out a $22 offer with discount shipping. They accepted making my net profit right around $15 on this, which I am very happy with, with just like a boutique item that I grabbed from the bins. If you guys are wondering what my Posture VA is, basically just my virtual assistant that's all automated. Um, I signed up for the service all on my own, posturevva.com. Um, if you guys want a free trial with 20% off your first month, you can use my code McKenzie20 and you can try it out for yourself. Honestly, I love it. It has hugely increase my sales especially on slower sale days like i was just talking about it really just kind of gets the ball moving it sends out offers for you um, and even if someone doesn't accept the offer that it sends out a lot of times they will counter it which just you know opens the door for negotiations and whatnot okay another blouse super cute again this is that like minimalist 
contemporary style. The brand tag was missing on this, but when I saw it, I could just kind of tell that it was a little bit higher quality. And so I did look at the in inside tag and I could tell that it was made well. So Madewell does have style numbers. So I just plugged that into Google and I saw that this was from 2021. So I for sure had to grab it with it being a newer piece. It also measured like a size extra large, I want to say, which is awesome. I listed this at 32 and I would say about a week after being listed, I got a $22 offer which I accepted and my net profit came out to right around $15. Alrighty, moving on. I think this is our last, yeah, this is our last sale in my women's closet. It is a three piece bundle. The first item is this J Crew striped it's like a faux wrap crossover top with a tie at the bottom and embroidered pineapples throughout so super cute and I'm going to wrap this one actually I'll wrap this with one other item second item is this is this Oh, this is a four piece bundle. Yeah. Okay. So I'll wrap these two together. These are made well, elastic waist, cropped wide leg striped pant. They're a linen blend and they have buttons at the bottom hem, which I thought was so cute. I actually got these pants in my thread up 100 pound bulk box, mystery bulk box that I ordered. I did film a full unboxing of that. If you guys haven't seen it, I can link it down below. There's just something exhilarating about unboxing a hundred pounds of mystery clothing. That's like a reseller's dream. Okay. Third item. These are both skirts, third and fourth items. So this first one, the brand is Chloe Oliver. This one was sold through anthropology. It's like a striped kind of boho style skater skirt. And then this one is more of a just mini skirt. This one is Pilcrow in the letterpress, which is also anthropology. It has, it's like a railroad stripe. Is it? Yeah, railroad stripe with contrasting striped pockets. So I thought this was super cute. And the four of these items were added together. The bundle price came out to $78 and someone offered me $55, which I did go ahead and accept mainly because I have had these two skirts for, I would say about a year now. Uh, the J Crew shirt the, with the pineapples I have had for maybe about nine months. Uh, the Madewell pants I've had for two or three months now. So I, like I was mentioning, I do like to move items in my closet rather quickly. So because these were all kind of sitting, I was super happy to accept the offer of $55 that made my earnings $44 and my net profit $33 on this bundle. So not my best, but again, I will take that $33 reinvest it into inventory that will flip faster for a better profit margin and call it a day. Okay. Now we have two sales left. They're both from my men's closet. It is Mr. Posh man. If you're wondering, Mr. Underscore Posh man. These are some Levi dark wash jeans. These were actually my boyfriend's. Um, I think he got them at like Macy's. They're the 502 style. I forget what we listed them for, but they sold for 18 and the net earnings were $14 and 40 cents. So instead of just donating them because he didn't want them anymore. We got $15 back from them 
um, and they're going to a new home. Our very last sale of the day. This was a great sale. This is also a great brand to find. It's Rain Spooner. 100% spun rayon tailored in Hawaii size large so I was so excited to find this at the bins it has this novelty kind of sea life print to it with fishes swordfish fishes fish is plural yeah fish so not fishes just lots of fish uh, some crabs lobster so yeah, Rain Spooner is a great brand to find. And then when you add in the fact that this is a novelty print that does increase the marketability of the item. So I listed this at, you know what? I forget what I listed it for. I want to say 40 or 45 ish. And I got a $35 offer. I have had it listed for about three or four months now. So I was surprised that it took a while to sell. Um, but my earnings were 28 and my net profit was right around $27 on this top. So that is absolutely everything for this ship with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.